In early September 2010, Cornell University professor Daryl Bem publishes a paper showing that humans have the ability to see into the future. Published in a top-tier journal in psychology, shockingly, his evidence and methodology met all accepted research standards at the time. Overnight, shockwaves ripped through the psychology community. Academics worldwide, including myself, scrambled to understand how did this happen and what characteristics of our field and broader academic system needed fixing. We were trained to oversell evidence. We were salesmen that had a clear purpose. In all cases, the manuscript would go from a more honest reporting of what happened to a less honest picture. High stake, high competition, hyper competitive environment. Perfect storm for abuse of power and corruption. Academia more generally should be the last place where you're censoring speech and censoring ideas. Government funders are spending billions of dollars on scientific research, but at the end of it, the taxpayer doesn't get access to the results? I signed up to do real science. How could I get up in the morning to go do pseudoscience? You should try to be a more positive person. <laughs> yeah, but what happens if everything is negative and I'm just trying to tell the truth? Corporations are making billions of dollars by blocking access to taxpayer-funded medical research? Doesn't that mean people are dying and suffering unnecessarily from conditions that could be treated using such scientific information? For most people, their friendships and their relationships are more important than principles. But for me, I guess it was the other way around. Failure to replicate hurting your career? What about PhDs with no career because they were honest? He got right up to my face and was yelling. You're not doing enough to protect the reputation of original authors. It's unethical to ask questions about transparency of scientific papers. It was already pretty dark, but the pushback against transparency and replication was actually even worse. All my professors were telling me, no, no, you should not do this. You're going to be part of this contentious transparency movement, hurt your chances of a career, you're gonna be throwing people under the bus. It's disgusting that we're spending this much time determining if men and women talk the exact number of minutes while there's the wildest, largest raging forest fire replication crisis in social psychology. Only women are allowed to apply for the first six months, and if it's still not filled, then men can apply. The Netherlands, France, and Belgium pass new laws that make it illegal to profit commercially from blocking access to publicly funded research. Calling anyone who uses social media to criticize scientific findings a methodological terrorist, just like how a terrorist will kill. If the universities and research funders don't raise their transparency standards by the end of 2021, we'll be forced to Science is already hard enough. Now we're in a replication crisis of epic proportions. We're getting all this strange pushback, which is getting stranger. And now there's this ideological warfare, this culture war. How is this possible? 